The name of your organization is SHARE, spelled S-H-E-R. You're wearing the shirt right now for anybody who wants to look up the organization. Right. What inspired the name? Where'd the name come from? Well, if you look at it, it's for she and her. Nice. It's all about she and her. Um, in ancient languages, share actually me means uh, tigress, courageous, lioness, and all the affirmations of female energy and our ability to nurture, to be resilient. Um, it just represents us in such a good way that when researching for the right name or the word that would represent us, whether it's an initiative or starts out as an initiative and becomes a movement, um, it's very, very important to have that word that will ignite interest, uh, a movement, and uh, a way that women can connect. And I think share means so much on so many different levels, just based on what you and I just talked about. So it, it was a, a perfect, I think, a perfect name, a perfect word to describe who we are and what we do, what we live for. Yeah, I think it's I think it's such a great name uh, in you know looking at it and seeing she and her and also phonetically uh, share. It, it really embodies and encompasses all that you're trying to achieve with your organization, having women come in and sharing their stories. So I love the way it's a play on word. It's a it's a play on phonetics. I think that it's such a dope name. You know, we we touched on this earlier, and I'd like to, to circle back to it because I think it's necessary. Although this is a an organization that empowers and uplifts females, you have gotten incredible support from men. There, there's so many, as I was researching you and your company, I was blown away by the, the caliber of names, uh, both male and female, but, but specifically male that are lending their support to your organization. And if you don't mind, I just wanna read a few for our audience. Uh, Hisham Tawfiq, uh, who is you know, an A-list actor, Blacklist, um, from, from the hit number one TV show, Blacklist, lending his support to your organization. Kevin Weeks, uh, former National Hockey League player and, and now analyst. Uh, Marvin Washington, Super Bowl champ with the Denver Broncos, incredible. Tracy Morgan, comedian, movie star, you know, A-lister. It's so, I can go on and on. Jeff Hoffman, the, the, the founder of Priceline, it just never seems to stop. Um, how did you attract these names? And are you even surprised that a group that you started for women, you're seeing men who not only support what you do, but they're, they're lending their name and their, their likeness and their time to better uplift and bring notoriety to what it is that you're doing. Sean, I'm not surprised. This was really? a, this is a vision that I had. You know, when um, UN Women started their initiative, that's become a movement now, He For She, uh, which aligns men with women to as allies to support us in um, issues like gender equality and equity. It was a perfect opportunity for me to approach Big Daddy and say, listen, I want you to come and join us and be our ambassador. It just made complete sense. You know, everything, all the stars aligned and it was just a perfect opportunity. But I also think that when you envision something and you kind of uh, participate in, 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 in making that a reality, it happens. It really happens. Of course, I'm grateful. I'm beyond grateful. Of course, sometimes I pinch myself. And, but I also think it's very important for men 
to support us as allies um, in this particular um, situation that we find ourselves in these days. Um, and I know enough great and exemplary men who have been doing amazing things for women, and I'm grateful for them. And I want to stay very optimistic and positive about that. So the more men that commit to doing this, they can all go to UN. I'm promoting UN all the time, uh, he for she movement, and commit to just support supporting us. It's probably the best thing they could do because they'll have mothers, in many cases, sisters, wives, obviously, daughters. Um, it's a way to really be able to create this incredible balance. It's like yin and yang, my girlfriend, girlfriend always says, that provides a perfect balance in supporting and celebrating one another. Nice. <laughs>